Hi, I'm Rick Mastracchio, former NASA astronaut and now Director of Business Development for Northrop Grumman's Human Exploration. Behind me is a mock-up of the Habitat and Logistics Outpost, or as we call it, the HALO Module. The HALO Module and the Power and Propulsion Element will be delivered to lunar orbit to make up the first components of NASA's Gateway. So NASA is currently operating the International Space Station. So what are the differences between the International Space Station and the Gateway? The International Space Station is in low Earth orbit, orbiting the Earth only 250 miles above the surface. The Gateway will be more than a thousand times further, orbiting the surface of the Moon. The space station is meant as a permanent crew presence, and folks have been living on board the space station for the last 20 years. The Gateway is going to be crew tended, where crews will visit the Gateway for a period of a few weeks or a few months. The other difference is that ISS is at assembly complete and is home to seven crew members. HALO and the PPE are just the first components of the Gateway with plenty of room for future growth. Northrop Grumman has been delivering cargo to the International Space Station using the Cygnus spacecraft since 2013. That's 15 missions and counting. We are now using that Cygnus experience and our lessons learned in the design of the HALO module. Living on the International Space Station has taught me the importance of using all of your space very wisely. The HALO will be in a weightless environment, which means it's a three-dimensional environment. For example, one crew member could be hanging from the ceiling eating his lunch, while another crew member is back on the wall exercising, while another third crew member could be at this rack performing a science experiment. There is no up or down in space, so we can use all of the volume wisely. HALO is a multifunctional facility. Think of it as a spare bedroom in your house. It will be used for storing cargo, it will be used for performing science, it will be used for preparing food, and will be used to house the crew when they're sleeping. And at times, it will be used for all of those things simultaneously. The HALO module has three docking ports, two radial ports, and one axial port. These ports support the delivery of cargo to the gateway, as well as the visiting crews. The ports will also be used to grow the gateway by adding future modules from both international and commercial partners. The HALO module will support the gateway with power distribution, thermal control, and life support systems while providing the volume for the astronauts to live and work in lunar orbit. It also acts as a communication relay between the astronauts working on the surface of the moon and mission control back on Earth. Northrop Grumman is proud to partner with NASA to establish the first permanent human presence in lunar orbit in support of sustained exploration of the lunar surface and onto Mars.